Greetings everyone, the Good Sir Knight here, and today we are going to be covering a little transition we're going to be going through. Don't mind the gloves. I just happened to get them, so they're not as nice as my tan ones, but that's not the reason we're here. The reason we're here is because we are going to be making a little transition. So as you can see, we have a lot of shotgun shells. Now these shotgun shells are from when I had the Tokyo Motori M870 Breacher, which was maybe about yay long. Very, very small compact shotgun. Well, sold that to my buddy Riker and went out to purchase a M870 Tactical. Now, the reason I like the Tactical is because it actually has a buttstock, it makes it sufficiently easier to aim, and it has built in sights. So, that being said, without further ado, here is said M870 Tactical, and the first thing you might notice is this thing is really, really long. Like, Standard M16 length, you can drop it down by your foot. You can actually do some drill with this alone, so. It's definitely a very, very long shotgun, which probably means it's gonna be a bit less maneuverable than CQB. In summary, definitely gonna wanna carry a handgun for those really, really close encounters. And you got an extra mag pouch right here, so. You know, Eagle Industries, little 24 round holder, and then a simple 511 five shell holder on the side. Now you might think it's a bit weird, but once I do get the two point sling on here, it is going to sit off and about this side of its own free will. So, as you can see, having the uh, shells over here, although not as maneuverable as they would be on the left side, does make the shotgun easier to maneuver and everything. Although, I guess I could keep it here and yeah, we'll see how it plays out. Anyway, it's getting, a sling, getting a sling attached to this is quite problematic. Now, with the VTAC, I can get it, you can either get the adapter, but the gas tank fits in here. So, you wouldn't be able to swap gas tanks with the sling on. Which, I mean, I guess with a simple adapter would be too bad, but that's the first problem. You do have a classical swivel mount, or sling attachment down here. Although that little attachment is yet to come in the mail, as well as one up on the little, well, I guess the magazine cap is what we'll call it. So yeah. We do have a few options there. Now, as you can see, there's no pistol grip. This does use a classic rifle grip. Although it does also aim incredibly well. The little aperture sight it has up here is very nice and goes nicely with the little front barrel into you. So, as the good sir knight, I'm a huge fan of shotguns. This does do the three or six pellet per shot go. So, that's pretty awesome. I do like being able to peek a corner not have a lot of time to really get an aim in and a solid shot on a guy in just six rounds will generally fix most of your problems now IRL with M4s and everything like that you're gonna be able to engage up to about 500 meters whereas the shotgun's gonna be closer to about eh, 80 meters with the full break still that's a lot of firepower over a short handgun sort of level distance now might not sound too impressive but airsoft wise it translates really well for shotguns, where you're only shooting about 50 meters anyway, and less powerfully for rifles. Now I know the power limit in the States is a bit higher, but with a single jewel in Japan, like 360 some odd feet per second, it's pretty low. So even your M4s and even the sniper rifles go into the same requirement, only a singular jewel. So, with that being said, shotguns being able to put out six rounds and Japan having very, generally very strict semi-only games, shotgun becomes OP. And though shotguns don't get their love they deserve in video games, we all know it. Maybe the last time, I think mean, Doom had a great shotgun, but Doom didn't have assault rifles. Doom already knew the limitations and had to engage in relatively close range. Additionally, as I think Nuclear Throne, surprisingly of all games, has fantastic shotguns but also close quarters. Though Arma, I haven't seen the shotguns in Arma 3, but you know, definitely the rifles and the three 400 meter engagements are pretty cool. So, shotgun, M870 Tactical. Been wanting one for a while, especially since I've now sold my Breacher. And with the gas tank, even on rainy days such as today, not a problem. And it's got tons of firepower. Let's see how quickly I can yeah, that's going to be a little awkward. Just a wee bit. Oh, that's on my shell. Yeah, I think... I don't know. Maybe it would behoove me to swap it over to the left side, just to get those first five shells in. I could also get the side mount. 
The upgrades I do have in mind, quite a few upgrades in mind for this, is first and foremost, the, uh, the sling, obviously, except I mentioned I can mount it back here, that's not a problem. As for the front end, they make a little sling attachment that goes underneath the, uh, the end cap for the magazine, as well as the uh, little mini rail setup. They'll put a small rail on here. The small rail's great because it gives us access to a flashlight. And that, with the left side mounted uh, sling swivel, will enable us to keep the weapon tactically mounted so it can hang down low freely on its own accord. Especially when we need to transition two hand to handgun. We don't want to keep holding the shotgun, we want two hands on the handgun. And uh, yeah, and I'll also keep it on the left side so it'll be able to tactically maneuver. And as I've noticed with the SR16, if you do need to left hand instead of trying to fiddle with the sling, just take the sling off real quick and transition. Really easy and fantastically easy. Let me see if I can get you guys a down the sight. I cannot. I have no visibility, but the sights are incredibly easy to use. And adjustable. There's little windage screws and elevation screws, so that's basically all I got for you guys today. Just letting you know, transitioning from an SR16 to a shotgun. Although it is an easy fix, I can take this off and switch it out with a six mount, ah, six mag magazine pouch from a BDS Tactical that'll be coming in shortly. So that's all I got for you guys. I also have a M79 by King Arms grenade launcher in the mail that'll be kept over the left shoulder with a belt of grenades. So. In summary, we're going to be taking a lot of firepower, having a lot of fun, and have more shells than your average run-through of any Mario game. So, cheers everyone. I'll see you guys in the near future, particularly when the M79 gets here, and then we'll start doing official reviews. Skipped all the unboxing, because shenanigans. Anyway, camera battery is going to die, so cheers everyone, and we will go unleash hell sometime in the near future. Cheers!